Are you struggling with change? Do you know that you want to do something but somehow you are not able to do it? It could be in your health, in your relationships, with your job, with your career. You really feel like you need to do something, make a shift, make a change, but it just doesn't happen. And in this video, I want to share with you three things why we are not able to make a productive change in our life. And then quickly, I'm going to share three things that you can do or what is required to make the change with full confidence that you're sure about the change, you're not afraid of the results and you're moving forward to progress. So let's start with the first three things why people don't change and I want to share with you a recent incident that happened. I posted on Instagram a video of my daughter, three month old daughter and I was teaching her or you know, ex uh, exposing her to water in a pool. and. I got a lot of comments, some positive, some people understood and some people really nasty comments saying oh, three month old daughter and you're exposing her to the cold water and this is not correct and you're torturing her and I'm taking this example for us to understand why change is difficult because the first three things why people don't really change is fearing other people's opinion, right? So if there is a relationship change or if it's a business change or you want to change from a job to business or you want to add some product in your business or maybe you just want to change something in your lifestyle. You want to buy something, you want to stop doing something or you want to start doing something. The first thing that we as human beings think about is other people's opinion. And yes, that might also have uh, you know, a, a repercussion in your results because the way you are behaving is also impacted because in your head you're thinking, what if people don't approve? What if people say something bad? What if people say something nasty? And the same thing happened when I posted this, there were, you know, comments started coming and obviously the first comments were, oh, this is not correct and she, she's too young and you should not be doing this. And slowly, slowly when we saw the opinions, we saw comments, there were people who were supporting, there were people who were negative. So that is going to happen in your life. When you make the change, when you take a big leap or when something which is normal is changing, you will fear people's opinion and people's opinion will come. So that's part of the change which you need to understand. That is what stops us from taking the change. And what did I do? I just, you know, let it come. And that's okay. People have the right to say what they say. And that really did, did not impact me and my behavior. And second is once people's opinion starts coming in, we start getting self-doubt. So, you know, I had a lot of incoming calls from family that, you know, people are talking and you should take the post down and this is not right and what is the benefit that you're using this as social media and she's too young and da 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 and blah 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 and honestly that could lead somebody to be in self-doubt that oh, have I done the wrong thing? Uh, I should listen to people. Again, people's opinion impacts you and you don't make the change. You retrieve or you delete or you say, okay, fine, I'm not going to make the change and I'm going to just come back and live my normal routine life because people are not comfortable with you changing and they will come back to you and hammer your self-doubt. So self-doubt is the second point why people don't change. They are not confident enough in themselves. And the last but not least is fear of consequences. Now, what if people start telling you opinion and then you have self-doubt? What if something wrong happens? You know, what if something bad happens? What if you lose money? What if, you know, what you want to do doesn't happen and it backfires? So obviously you fear consequences, you fear failure, you fear what will happen, what is the repercussion? And sometimes in my personal life, like when I went from being an engineer to a trainer, a coach, I experienced the same thing that people told me opinions, they were attacking my self-doubt, my confidence, they were you know, creating self-doubt. What if you fail? What if this doesn't happen? Then what? Then what? And that obviously leads to fear of consequences that what if I don't achieve? What if something bad or wrong happens? Everybody is going to blame me. So these are the three first things that you have to address and be, it's just being aware of these three things. So the first thing is other people's opinion, self-doubt and fear of the consequences which you have to keep in your head. Now, the next thing is how do I overcome these three things? What are the three powerful steps that I can take? The first step which you can take is accurate knowledge, having accurate knowledge about what you are making the change. Second is making sure that you take appropriate action. And the third one is complete responsibility. So when you do these three things, you will be able to make the change more powerfully and no matter how much pressure comes to you, you will still be able to sustain it and 
take it forward towards the results that you want. So first is accurate knowledge. What is accurate knowledge? When I posted this and when I took my daughter into the water, I knew that this is something which is normal and today infants are put in a pool and they are meant to swim. They are dipped inside and they come back up and they are floating. That is the fact that is accurate knowledge. It is not something which I just cooked up and made up. Now, if you want to do a relationship change or a health change or a business change or whatever change you want to do, make sure you have consulted an expert. Make sure you have the accurate knowledge from an authentic source so that you can follow the knowledge, you can understand what is what you're doing and then make the appropriate change. So the first thing is accurate knowledge. You need the accurate knowledge for making the change. The next one is appropriate actions. Now, what do I mean appropriate actions is once you know that you need to make the change, you don't suddenly stand up and you say, hey, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and make the change and tell everybody. Now, when I took my daughter to the pool, I appropriate action means I didn't dip her because I was not having the accurate knowledge about that. So I took appropriate action. Everybody were in alignment and we did it one thing at a time, slow and steady. Whatever I could understand, I took appropriate action. It was not against somebody or against the tide. Yes, you will have to go against opinions of people and you cannot kind of go in the flow with what people want. But yeah, I'm talking about not hurting people, your loved ones, communicating with them when they come back with an opinion, not being rude, not being harsh, not being, you know, inauthentic or out of integrity in whatever you do in terms of business career or whatever change that you really want to do. So taking appropriate action and last but not least is you need to make sure you take complete responsibility of the consequence of your change. So yeah, people will give you opinions and you will have self-doubt, but if you really want confidence, take the knowledge, make appropriate actions and take full responsibility. You're not throwing off responsibility if something wrong happens. And that happened to me also when I made or I make even currently today when I make changes in my own personal business or product or lifestyle or family, there are people who resist and I take full responsibility. I say, you know what, if something goes wrong, I am responsible. I communicate the change to people around me. I take approvals of people who are, you know, with me in my team, with my family, my kids, my wife, people who are important in my life. I take their opinions. I take their confirmation and then I take full responsibility of whatever consequences and if you do that then you will be able to make the change so whichever change that you're currently struggling with make sure that you keep in mind those first three negatives that stop you from changing and the how do you make change with confidence get appropriate knowledge make sure you get the accurate knowledge from a good source take appropriate action Go slow, don't go big bang and you know hurt people around you. Uh, be wise, be smart and take those actions. And last but not least, be sure to take responsibility on each step of the way. So there'll be feedback, you will take responsibility and that is where the self-confidence comes. That is where self-doubt goes out and that is where you are allowed or you can show being alive and fearless. Alive and fearless is not something which you know you just talk about. It is real action when you do it and you will get the heat you will get oppositions, you will get feedback, you will get failure. And that is the point when you stand alive and fearless and really move forward towards what you want to achieve. If you have any questions, post it below the video. Move, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you go to murtsabadi.com and opt in for more training resources and updates. Thank you so much for watching. Stay alive, stay fearless, dream big, stay strong. I'll see you soon in the next Alive and Fearless video.